up here on the hill. Get ready. Good buck. You want him? Smoked him. Smoked him. He's down. <laughs> Dude, he's huge. <laughs> he just did it. <laughs> We're about to get out of the tree, start lowering stuff down, and uh, James dismounts the camera from the tree arm and uh, hands it to me. As he's handing me the camera, I turn around and look over my shoulder, and here comes this gargantuan Iowa buck. <laughs> nothing away from that deer that I just shot because he's gorgeous but oh my god from that point on after I had killed that buck with my bow and then encountered this big buck that you know just showed up out of nowhere obviously if we knew that deer was around we would have been holding out for him but we had no idea we had no pictures we had nothing no idea that deer was in the area so after I tagged out with my bow and told Andrea, I said, we got to focus on killing this deer. When I was in high school, I asked my dad about bow hunting and about hunting and all that stuff. Well, he took me out hunting with him and um, we built a tree stand together and just we did different things in the woods together. So my dad's really the one who started getting me interested. We just would go out and not see deer. And that was frustrating to me because I wasn't hunting to not see deer. So I quit. And then I met Brennan. Brennan was a huge hunter. And, you know, I had an interest, but just never really pursued it. Brennan, um, I talked him into letting me pursue it, basically. And one year he bought me a bow for Christmas. Everything on it is decked out in pink. And I religiously shoot. And Brennan is really the one who pushes me to be better with everything and kind of taken me from what my dad had taught me and turned me into the hunter that I am today.
The spinach strut works better than other strutting decoys because it triggers a dominant genetic response. We get a gobbler's attention by calling as a hen. When the gobbler sees the natural motion of the spin and strut strutting in front of a hen, his response changes from curious and cautious to one of exerting his dominance over this intruder. This genetic response will stop hang-ups and can bring gobblers in from long distances. Even call shy birds will respond. So if you want the original lifelike motion decoy, get a spin and strut. The word is out. The red revolution is changing hunting. The most advanced hunting arrow ever. Maxima Red from Carbon Express. The only arrow engineered to contain and control the enemy of accuracy. Dynamic spine to the red zone. Maxima Red is a game changer. The Reds are legit, period. Ready to raise your game? Join the Maxima Red revolution and shoot better. Carbon Express. It's October 19th. This is my first sit here in Iowa. We just hung our muddy stands on a good farm that we have down here. We have some great bucks on camera. Hopefully tonight's our lucky night.
We've been farming all of our lives. We work hard so we can enjoy hunting. With Antler King products, we know our whitetails are getting the vitamins and minerals they need to remain healthy and grow bigger antlers. It's clear we've made the right choice. Antler King, bigger bucks, healthier deer. From online to your living room and everywhere in between, Carbon TV has all of your favorite outdoor shows anywhere, anytime. Register now for your free account at CarbonTV.com. We had some eventful sits. I think nearly every time we went out, we've seen, you know, at least a good looking buck. Not necessarily shooters every time out, but always seeing good bucks. We started seeing good, good mature buck movement there um, probably a few days before Halloween this year. Uh, we had an encounter with a five year old, a big, heavy, mature eight pointer that we had come running to doe. It was awesome. We were spending a lot of time in the tree and I knew it was just a matter of time before we got lucky. Hey, T-Bone here. Let's talk about expandable broadheads. Two inch two blade expandables only have a two and a half inch cutting surface and are actually more like a sliver. G5's T3 all steel big cut expandable 
has a whopping three inches of cutting surface. Three blades produce three independent flaps, creating a big old chunk. So, do you want a sliver or a T3 chunk? Farming is our life. Hunting is our life passion. We know that in both, it's what's planted in the ground first that matters. And that's why we choose Antler King Food Plot Mixes. Our results speak for themselves. Antler King, bigger bucks, healthier deer. As the rut winded down, we kind of, you know, made that transition into we're getting ready to hunt for the cold weather. And uh, which meant, you know, Andrew is not going to want to sit in the tree too much longer because of, you know, the wind and the cold and everything like that. So we knew it was time to start getting some blinds situated for hunting when it got cold. drove down to southern Iowa and uh, we wanted to get some stuff ready here for uh, for uh, second shotgun season which Andrea is going to be hunting and uh, late muzzleloader which I'm going to be hunting. Uh, what we got here is uh, all the timber sits to the west of me and we got bean field out here to the east and these deer are coming out of the coming out of the timber crossing this pasture area right here and going out to the beans in the evening. So we're throwing up a double bull here. Um, we got high hopes uh, when it gets supposed to get cold here in the next, you know, week or two. We got high hopes these deer are gonna be pouring out in these beans. So hopefully we're gonna cut them off here coming across this pasture. Got the double bull up. Um, had a bunch of cedar branches cut that I did a couple weeks ago. Had them ready to go. Um, got it brushed in pretty good. One buck in particular that we're really hoping to see when we're out here, um, a buck that we nicknamed Boomtown that walked under Brennan when he shot his buck earlier this season with this bow. He's a main frame 6x5 in. Really, really nice buck. That's the main one that I'm after. He's been on our cameras here pretty consistently and I would love to shoot him as my first buck. We had our heart set on Boontown, so we kept hunting hard, and she stuck with it all season. And it came down to uh, the last night of season. The weather was right. We got probably close to a foot of snow dumped on us the night before, and we knew these deer were going to have to eat. We got in the blind early that day, probably shortly after noon, and uh, the deer just started pouring out of the draw. It's my last 
45 minutes since I shot. I'm not 100% where I shot him. I feel pretty confident in the shot though. This is my first buck ever. I've only shot doe with my bow. I'm so excited. He ran down towards these cedars down here and the, the woods is pretty thick so hopefully we can go see you know what happened, recover some blood. the buck I've been after came down to the last day of gun hunting, last hour of light, and he finally stepped out. I couldn't be more happy. This is my first buck ever. And I'm so glad that I agreed to move down here. Oh my gosh. Season I'm never gonna forget, for sure. I mean, this is why we moved down here. And uh, I'm looking forward to many more successful seasons down here hunting with my soon-to-be wife. So to knock this buck down tonight is just a dream come true for both of us. And I could not be happier. What do you think? <laughs> I love you. Oh, cool. <laughs>